with one in ten of us suffers from some form of asthma. It can be really frightening if it gets out of control, and there's growing concern that inhalers don't always work. But scientists in Leicester believe that they have found out why, and they hope to come up with a solution that could help thousands. Karen and Moses reports. Mark, like many other asthma sufferers, needs his inhaler when he gets a bad attack. Usually this so-called reliever does what it says. It relieves his blocked airways. But there have been times when it hasn't. I find that after using my inhaler several times a day for a few days, it would stop working. It's very frightening, certainly when you get an unexpected worsening of the asthma, because you can go for many, many weeks, even months, under control of the medication I've got, and then suddenly I'm gasping for breath. And yeah, you really do start to worry where your next breath is coming from. On the left, we have a airway from a patient uh, having a severe asthma attack. It was this concern that sparked research at the University of Leicester. Scientists here have spent two years studying lung cells of asthma patients. After decades of people using inhalers, they found something rather striking. They identified certain chemicals in asthmatic lung cells which can build up resistance to reliever inhalers. Targeting these chemicals would mean these inhalers would work better again. It's potentially a major breakthrough which could help hundreds of thousands of people. Um, well, there are five million people in the UK with asthma and um, about 10% of those really have very poorly controlled asthma in spite of current treatments. So I think targeting that group in particular might be very helpful. They hope now to develop medicine to control the chemicals in patients' lungs, helping them in turn control their asthma. It would be fantastic news. It actually removes the anxiety that comes from asthma. At the moment, I never know when the next attack will come. And if I knew those attacks won't come, they'll be brilliant. Carolyn Moses, East Midlands Today, Leicester.